Hey guys, this is OG from CryptoNet back with another cryptocurrency video. In today's video, we'll be going over two things. One, on technical analysis, and two, on altcoins. Today's video will be somewhat different than our normal videos uh, because for one, we'll be going into an in-depth analysis of technical, technical analysis, not just on what's happening in the charts right now, but deeper into how you can analyze charts and how you can look at the charts in different ways. So in fact, I've prepared two views to look at Bitcoin to give an illustration of how that happens. So let's dive right in, right? So on Bitcoin, here's view number one, which is the view that I've been sharing for the past few days. Essentially, the main view of this being this symmetrical triangle, along with the fact that we have this Fibonacci retracement from this high to this low, and lastly, the 200 MAs. And what we saw was that price kept on getting rejected by the 200 MAs and we had false breakouts from the triangle. Now, looking at the one hour chart, we can see the different setups that have happened, different trade setups, right? So right here, we had the first breakout out of this triangle. So this could have been a good place for a long and this would have been a successful trade like this. The second trade we would have gotten is when price broke back below the triangle, suggesting that this entire area was a bull trap. And so this would have been a place for a short, and this would have been a good trade as well. The third entry that we would have gotten would be on the bounce of the triangle on this candle right here. So price bounced here with a huge tail to the downside along with strong volume. So this would have been a good long signal over here like this and then lastly the first the fourth trade that would have happened would have been this second breakout out of this triangle and this would have been a losing trade essentially this we had a slight move up but this would have been too small of a move for me to have taken profit personally speaking so four trades here three wins one loss and all revolving around this symmetrical triangle that we have right either it's a breakout or a breakdown or a bounce um, and so that's what we see now if we look at it from another view we have completely different so on this chart on the daily we have this flag right or this channel that we're in if we zoom into the four hour chart we also see a smaller channel forming right here like this. And lastly, we zoom in one more time. We see that this was the first retest of this channel, right? This channel is formed by these two points, these two lows, and this would have been the first test of it. And we also saw this huge wick to the downside, along with strong volume. So this would have been a long signal here. And this would have been a nice trade. And if we zoom into the 15 minute time frame, we also see two other trade setups. One is this false breakdown, right? So we see we have this low here. And on this candle, price actually closed below this level with very strong volume and candle, suggesting this was a breakdown. So a lot of people went short here. But what we saw was the candle immediately following that candle was a huge close above this level. In fact, this was engulfing the previous candle. So this was a false breakdown, right? All these, all the people who showed it here got trapped. And so this would have been a good long signal and worked out pretty well. Then once price reached the 61.8 yeah, retracement, so if we put a fit from here to here, we have this 61.8 over here. And this was a huge rejection, right? Huge volume, huge candle, and this short here would have been pretty nice as well. So as a quick recap, you see that these two are very different views of looking at Bitcoin, right? This is completely revolving around the triangle formation. There's no triangle here, right? This is all about FIBs. This is about the channel. Right, and this is about support resistance. The point of this exercise is to show you that there is no one way to look at the charts. There's no 
correct way to conduct technical analysis, right? TA is as much an art as it is a science. And everyone can look at the chart in a different view. And But that's not the point. The point is having a way to look at it that's consistent and that gives you the trade signals that can be profitable over time. And this is something that you personally have to work on, right? You can start out with a system, right, that others give you, but you must, and I suggest you must customize it to suit your own needs, right? So, you know, to come up with your own system, that makes sense. Now, switching gears a bit to look at altcoins. Before we go into the charts individually, there are, you know, I want to mention a few things. So my overview on altcoins right now, it's a bit split. So on the one hand, there is a possibility that Bitcoin does have another leg down, right? To let's say the 28,000 area or perhaps even the 24, 25,000 area. And if that happens, alts will most likely ha- get crushed, right? Alts will most likely go down by 20, 30, maybe even 50%, right? So there is this downside risk that we have in the in altcoins. On the other hand, we are seeing or have been seeing some alts taking off, right? So we know double digit percentage gains, 30%, 20% gains over the past few days. And so this could suggest that a alt season is around the corner, right? That some of the other altcoins might also pop in addition to the ones that I already have. And so on the one hand, I want to manage my risk, right? I don't want to be going heavy into all coins to have it go down by 40 50 percent on the other hand i don't want to completely be on the sidelines right if this all season does take off i don't want to be without any exposure and so that's why right now i'm looking to potentially scale in small positions into some of the major alts so i think in terms of the alts that i'm be looking for there are three themes one is DeFi, right DeFi is here to stay, right? We've had, even though we had DeFi, you know, summer, um, it's it's going to be here, right? This is something that's long-term. There will be waves, comes and goes, ups and downs, but long-term, DeFi is here to stay. Second area is layer ones, right? So things like Cardano, Polkadot, right? Cosmos, I think those are still going to be very important. And then the third theme is Ethereum itself, as well as some of the major Ethereum coins. Um, you know, with EIP-1559 coming into play with some of the layer two scaling solutions like um, optimistic rollups, um, you know, zero knowledge proofs rollups, you know, we are seeing just a lot of fundamental progress in Ethereum. And it's, it is still the king of all coins. It is still the biggest ecosystem for DeFi for dApps. And so I could see that Ethereum could potentially lead this next leg of the bull run, right? It's something we are when we do have another leg left in this bull run, then Ethereum most likely will lead that bull run. So these are three three major themes, right? Ethereum, layer one, and DeFi. With that said, right, if we look at Ethereum. I mentioned that we was looking for a long around 2150, and that's exactly what happened. We had this test of the 200 MAs, huge work down, strong volume, rally up. On the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, right, we also have this huge rally. I'm looking, waiting for a potential retest of 200 MAs down here for me to take a long here. Looking at Chainlink. Right, I mentioned actually the first post I had was down here on this first retest of this channel. I said that price was going to test twenty to twenty one dollars most likely, and that's where I, we actually met that target, you know, just now. We actually had a second chance to enter, right, with the second retest of the channel down here. Polka dot, something I'm looking to scale in, right. This is the low. Right, that of the crash, right around the low of the crash. Also, the 61.8 of this huge move. Right, so we take the fit from this all the way from here up there. This is 61.8. And if my thesis, um, or if an altcoin isn't worth to start, and one of the ones that will do well would be Polkadot, then this is a great area to enter. Right, this is you enter at the low. So right? even if we would return just to previous high, then this is 
no a hundred percent move in Bitcoin terms, right? And if Bitcoin rallying at the same time, then in dollar terms, it could be hundred fifty percent, two hundred percent move, right? So risk reward seems pretty good. And if price were to crash, then I might set a stop loss somewhere down here, or I might just accumulate more to average down my cost depending on what the market conditions are like. Lastly, on Ripple XRP, we have potential double bottom forming here, and the neckline is at 68 cents. So if we break out and have a huge you know, strong volume to confirm this move, then I'll be looking for at least a short term long on XRP, and potentially maybe we'll leave a small portion as a moon bag if we see that all coins are rallying right if we do have an all season full out all season come in that might leave a small bag of xrp as well but all that is you know conditional on us breaking out of this in the first place so that's it for today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed it it's a little bit different than the usual videos hopefully you got some value you know very more value out of it than the usual and as always if you appreciate videos like this please do like, share, and subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you can get these videos in real time. Thank you guys again for your attention. Thank you guys for your time. OG up. See you in the next one.